Okay, so far so good. So one thing more I want to do is I want to, every time I send a, a message, I want the user to be immediately redirected back to this to this to this page because currently what's happening is if I, I if I send another message let's say Bob say hi what's going to happen is I'm going to be stuck on the greeting screen because I'm just if, if we recall here we are just getting the username and the message and storing it to our database and not printing anything back to the screen okay so let's go and give it a try Okay, we see we are we're stuck on the screen one additional thing we want to do is to just redirect the user back to our home screen so we do this by saying self dot redirect and then we pass in the path we want to redirect our user to so we want to redirect them to our home path so this should get rid of of this this effect so let's say uh let's say alice says hello there Okay, send, and we are redirected back to the screen. Now, one thing you'll see is that our messages are being shown side by side. So we, we want to change this up a little bit. After each message, we want to add a tag of HTML, which is BR. Now, what does BR do? BR is, base, is simply a break row. So it will break the row and show stuff in a new row. So let's go ahead and refresh this. And sure enough, we have our greetings listed here. Okay, great. So the last thing we see here is these greetings are not being shown in order, okay? So we can see that the, the greetings I did yesterday is somewhere in between the greetings, the two greetings I have sent today. So this is not right. So let's go ahead and change this. How can we change this? Well, we can simply change this by specifying a order we want to fetch the results in before before saying fetch i can say order and i can say greetings dot timestamp so i want to order by greetings timestamp and then i want to fetch them when they are ordered this should this should return our results ordered by timestamps so let's go ahead and refresh this and sure enough we can see that they are ordered if we want to change the order and say that the most recent are above, we can simply say we want this in descending forward order by adding a minus sign in front of greetings.timestamp. So let's go ahead and refresh this. And sure enough, we have our uh, items ordered just like we wanted to. Okay. So last thing is I'm going to add another header here just to separate the form from the greetings. And I'm going to say, after the form, I'm going to say another h1 and say past greetings and close the h1. Okay, so this should give a nice separation. Here it is. This is our form and these are our, our past greetings. Okay, so this is fantastic because in a few videos you have learned how to interact with the data store in Google App Engine. and Every single web application out there uses a database, some kind of database. It's the most fundamental element of any web application to be able to store information that users provide or that you fetch from somewhere and then feed them back with this information. Every single web application uses a database and you, you have grasped how to use this data store in Google App Engine. So this will empower you to write really, really awesome applications. In the next lecture, we'll go, we'll go ahead and actually refactor our application. Our application is finished, but we want to refactor our application because we have done things in, in a way which is good to learn concepts, but they're not, not, not necessarily good for a production uh, web application. Because if you were to have all of your HTML in your request handler, for example, this would make your request handlers very, very difficult to read and very cluttered up with code that you don't need to see in the request handler. So we are going to learn how to structure our projects so that the code is nice and maintainable, readable by everyone, and so that we don't get lost with all this code in, in our request handler, so on and so forth, just to make the structure nice and easy for us to use and, and, and develop on.